feeling them. And that's what we're going to do in the next hour. I'm Gabrielle Carteris. And I'm James McDaniel. Tonight, we're going to reveal some secrets that will astound you. And secrets that you can use in your daily life. And some secrets you've always wondered about. Starting with magic's most incredible illusion. We've all wondered how magicians levitate a woman into the air. Well, wonder no more. You're about to learn the secret. About a hundred years ago, a performer at London's Egyptian Hall stunned audiences by levitating a woman. Tonight, magician Ed Alonzo recreates that classic illusion. of levitation has been carefully guarded for a century. Like most magicians, Ed refuses to reveal it, but we found a magician who will. Meet Mr. X. He has agreed to demonstrate the secret for our cameras, provided we conceal his identity. The reason I've chosen to reveal this illusion is because magic is more than just illusion. It's an art. By revealing a few secrets, I hope to create a more sophisticated audience that is more appreciative of the magician's craft. The illusion of levitation begins with a subtle deception. The platform appears to be a solid piece of wood, but actually there's a hole in the backside. That hole is for a steel rod, which is secretly put through the curtain by backstage assistants. When the magician is adjusting the woman's skirt, that puts him in position to uh, reach his other hand over and gently guide the bar all the way in. By the time the first chair is removed, the woman's weight is supported entirely by the rod. Plus those guys behind the curtain. But it's the hoop pass that converts a mere trick into an apparent miracle. Most people suspect the platform is suspended by invisible wires. The hoop proves these suspicions wrong. The simple and elegant part of this trick is the S-bar, which allows us to seemingly pass a hoop over the woman. On the first pass, you can see that the magician is putting the hoop onto the S-bar, while on the second pass, he's removing it. Finally, for hardcore skeptics who suspect a break in the hoop, the magician bounces or rolls the hoop. It's a subtle way of proving there are no breaks for those non-existent wires to pass through. So magic isn't just clever contraptions. The successful performer has to know how audiences think in order to distract the eye at key moments. Have you ever wondered why it's always a woman they levitate? Well, women are typically used in levitations because, for one reason, they tend to be lighter 
And uh, the second reason is they tend to distract the eye in a most pleasant way. If you think of outrageous deceptions, pickpockets work the shopping mall, the supermarket, the airport, anywhere there are people and cash, like this escalator. Watch closely. Do you see a crime taking place here? Well, watch again. The man in front is one of three pickpockets working as a team. Behind him is a woman about to become a victim. The other two members of the team, the man in the white shirt and the woman next to him, close in on the unsuspecting target. The front man creates a diversion by deliberately dropping his keys. That makes the victim crash into him. The second man lifts her wallet and hands it off to the woman, who promptly exits the scene. Our pickpocket is really Brian Gillis, a performer and pickpocketing expert. Now, when pickpockets work in a team, they're uh, implementing a very well choreographed, carefully rehearsed one-act play. The distraction's just part of it. Uh, it also involves very precise timing and an incredibly dexterous, light-fingered lift that takes years and years to develop. But women can foil that deft touch. The best way to protect your purse is to carry it in front of you, covering the opening with your hands. Men can wrap a thick rubber band around their wallet and carry it in a front pocket. Fast moves are just one of pickpocket's secrets. Another is a purse like this with a secret opening. It provides cover for a female pickpocket's roving hand. Sergeant Vince Garcia of the L.A. International Airport Police specializes in these diversion crimes. Pickpockets come in every age, race, and gender, and they never look like criminals. They dress to blend in with their surroundings, and they often work in teams. Their number one tactic is diversion. If they can divert your attention, they can get your valuables. And there's no better diversion than a woman in distress. A female pickpocket drops some papers in view of a likely victim. The woman bends over to retrieve them. The victim offers to help putting down his attache case. He never notices the woman's partner walking off with the case. One of the boldest scams of all takes place here. The victim is in a public restroom when a pickpocket in the adjacent stall drops some coins. The crook asks the victim to slide the coins back over. As he does so, a hand reaches in from the opposite stall and lifts his wallet. But now that you know these secrets, the crooks will have a harder time making quick cash.